Oh, one thing I didn't mention is if you go to cut this, go very slow. Because it'll bite into this and chip it really easy. It's not meant to cut plastic. What you can do is get, I've got a rough saw blade for cutting rough lumber. If you can get a fine tooth one with many, many more teeth, then it works a lot better. Um, I don't feel like switching out my blade. I've got to frame up something. I don't feel like switching out my blade just for this and switching it back. So if you use something like this, go very, very slow. And use your safety glasses. Then you get a nice clean cut. And go really slow, especially at the end. All right. All right. 30 inches. Yeah, yours might be different. 30 inches, the center's 15. I'm gonna go two inches this way, 17. Two inches this way is 13. All right. Then we're gonna go four inches. It'll be nine. Four inches would be five. Then from 17, we're gonna go four inches this way, would be 21. Four inches would be 25. Then it leaves you five inches on each side. That gives you plenty of room to make your bend and not have a plant sitting up against it. You can do yours any way. I used to do these with five holes. Anyhow, that's what works for me. I would mark all those first. Now when you go to drill, it has forward and the teeth are facing one way. That's how you would drill in the wood. This works better if you go backwards. See how it's a little easier instead of fighting like that. If you go drilling into this, your pilot hole, you'll pop through there and when it pops through and it pushes up against here, it'll bite into that. And then this might spin around or you twist your wrist off. If you're going backwards and it's nice and smooth, it'll make a smooth cut. It takes a little bit longer. Another thing you can do is get the same size drill bit and drill your pilot holes everywhere. And then your pilot holes will be ready. And then you can set this down and actually drill into it. And you don't have that force when you land on it. So either drill backwards or drill your bunch of pilot holes. That's another tip from somebody, one of our viewers. But let me just drill one hole here real quick and show you. See, I can see through those slots. I can see the mark where to put it. And we're going to drill backwards. You see how when it, it went through the plastic, the drill bit, your pilot hole, when this bit into it, it was nice and smooth. If I was going forward, this might have spun or I'd have to hold it really tight. And now watch. This doesn't take much pressure. I'm pretty much the weight of the drill is going to do it yourself itself. Now see if you put a lot of pressure on there, when it breaks through, you're going to push down and you might drill through the bottom. So just take your time. This is a heavy drill. Let that do the work for you. And you pop that off. And you save that for arts and crafts. My wife will show you how to make some pretty cool paper flowers with it. Alright, let's get to it. It's that easy. Now see what we go ahead and uh, drill those first. I used to bend the ends and then I come back and drill it because I was afraid I was going to drill into where that bend was, but now I know, you know, how far it's going to bend up. Someone said, why don't you drill the holes first, and then all the trash falls out. Then you can go rinse it out, and you get all of this out of there instead of bending the end, drilling it, and then trying to rinse everything out through the holes. So these come with words. Some of them come with a sticker, which I try to find all the time. I try to get that off for the ones I sell to y'all. You know, if I don't get it all off, forgive me, but I try. But uh, if you're doing your own, you might want to go ahead and put that on the bottom. All right, I'm going to finish up these, and then I get out the heat gun, and we'll bend some ends. All right, and for those of you who say, Mr. Doozy, I don't have a heat gun. I can't do that. 
Here's what one of our other viewers had done. Well, these sit on the side of your house, come down, drop the rain, and then it's the gutter. Y'all recognize what that looks like. What they decide to do instead of heating and bending the end, is get your food grade silicon. Get a little bit of silicon, silicon that on end. And really, you don't even need it around the top so you can get it back off the, it's not totally sealed up. You can just put silicon from here around to here. So hold your water in there. You don't need it across there because water's never going to get up that high. Unless you let it get up. But silicon that, and then that way if you don't seal it, if your water does overflow, it'll like seep back out of here. That you don't have it totally sealed up where it'll get up higher than that. So you do that, cover this up, that'll hold the water in here. You don't have to heat it. Then all you have to do is get you a small piece of foam or something and cut it, squash it down in there, cover it with aluminum foil, just find some way to cover that. Uh, you can put screen over it, but it's gonna let light in. So you wanna do something dark that blocks out your light. So maybe we'll do one like that and y'all can see how we do it. What you're gonna need though is two. Put one on both ends. Right. Someday, All right, don't forget, lift and inspire, keep on growing. Love you all.